News affecting local politics tonight. A new national study just released says Texas, in an effort to make voting more efficient, has closed 750 polling places since 2012 and replaced them with polling centers where any registered voter can cast a ballot. The report suggests the change actually suppresses minority voters, specifically Latinos. But as our Rudy Trevino reports, local representatives from both sides of the political spectrum say that's not the case at all. Representation must be there. Dr. Nick Adame, the president of LULAC Council No. 1, says while there's been voter suppression in the past, it is not a problem in Oasis County. I haven't seen any evidence of polling places closing and nor have I, uh, uh, have we got any complaints of, uh, of, of these new polling centers. According to the study by the Leadership Conference Education Fund, Nueces County has, quote, had a clear record of problems with Voter Rights Act compliance, having closed 37 polling places in its shift to vote centers. Mike Bergsma, the county's Republican chair, says ADA compliance was one reason, and some precincts just don't have enough voters to warrant staffing a polling place. We never had any intent to suppress voting and in, as I said we worked with the Democrats and I said any place you want we will keep. I don't know how we could have been more fair. The study also claims there wasn't sufficient voting information in Spanish during the 2016 election but representatives from both sides of the aisle deny any such issues and agree polling places versus centers are not a problem. People have actually more access than they used to. When you're going to work, from work, and you pass any polling place, you can vote there. We have a really good relationship with the Republican Party to come up with a manageable number of voting centers, which is, I think, around 90, between 92 and 95, where we can have people who can work them. However, therein lies an issue not reported by the study, the shortage of volunteers to run polling places. The biggest issue with having a polling place is having people, um, two from each party, who can actually be there doing early voting as well as on election day. And that has been the biggest challenge. Rudy Trevino, 3 News.